9871, ticket text coming in. Let's ask important questions instead, such as is oatmeal a breakfast cereal? Okay. Ah! Come on, people! Nothing else to add on that, guys? I mean, no, because anytime I open my mouth, people's feelings get hurt, and then I'm a bad guy, you know, and then I, everyone's sensitivities erupt. I don't know what to tell you guys. All right, I don't, I don't, I don't program everyone else. It's National Cereal Day. I don't oh, care. What? You know what today is, Roberto? It's Wednesday. I got about eleven different sports topics, and my non-sports is simple. I think incredibly awkward interviews are theater, and we're gonna have some fun with it in the two o'clock hour, not rush hour. I think that's a well-planned program. I think we've got a plan of attack today. I could take zero phone calls for four hours, and I'd still have material. Like, I'm ready to rock. And all of it is, to me, important, relevant. Some of it's fun. Yeah, I'm ready to go. So, I, I hey, man, different strokes, different folks. Let's rock. No, I'm serious. Uh, Team Ricardo, the worst part about cell phones is everyone always being able to contact me. His name's Roberto. <laughs> There's a number of people who refer to him only as Ricardo. On Ricardo, the hey, hey, how are you? Pat Caputo called me that the other day. Yes, he did. That's right. Ricardo. <laughs> Fire Roberto. Let's move on. Thanks. Or the next one. Roberto could go to a national station. You'll make more and won't have to deal with Mike crying. Hey, here's a news flash to some of you who have no clue what you're talking about. I'm the guy's biggest advocate here. You're forgetting about the most awkward interview of all, Namath Colber, creepy old man trying to mac on Susie. I want to kiss you. All right, listen, we can't put everything on. I'm offering you, in my estimation, the three most cringeworthy interviews that I've seen. Now, understand. There's something magical about Mike Piazza in Italy owning a soccer team and not looking like Mike Piazza anymore and then cursing the mayor of a city. It's people, it's theater. If you want to see the whole thing, you're welcome to it. But I, I want to lay this out. First of all, let me play for you the newest audio we have. Last night, Allen Iverson, Charlotte Hornets, a man who had had a really good time that night. You'll never convince me that... He didn't enjoy himself. Not a crime, but probably don't want to go on ESPN. Mike, do, you, do how many clips do we have of AI? It, it's one clip each. Each is about a condensed, about a minute version of each interview. All right. Enjoy in this delight as he calls the Sixers his little guys. What do you think about the 76ers and what they're showing out here on the floor? I love my guys. I love my little dudes. They're my little guys. I love them. What brings you to Charlotte? I live here. Okay. I live here. I didn't know that. I would, I would, I would, I would be crazy to say we think we need more. I think we got enough to be um, competitive, like we've always been. And um, but I'm gonna believe that anyway, regardless if I think we need more pieces. Like I'm, I'm with it. Like I'm, 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 I'm along for the journey. Like I, I think we gonna do something. We all we need, right? We all we need. <laughs> all right. We all we got. Oh, there we go. What do you? Oh, that poor woman. What do you do when you put the microphone in his face? See, here's the problem. They had to ask him if they could interview him first. You had to know there was a problem. But then, let's say you just thought it was loud. Maybe you didn't hear him right. Mid-first sentence, she's got to know we've lost cabin pressure. Then she sits there and continues the interview. That may have a daytime Emmy written all over it. We all leave. <laughs> also, note to self, sunglasses indoors. Leading indicator, person you're talking to, not fit for national TV. He had to go see his little dudes. Yeah. I love my little dudes. Oh. Audio number two. I'll throw the number out, 248 539 Audio two. I'm going to present a best of. 
of Mike Piazza the other day screaming about the exposure he's brought to Italy, uh, something regarding a stadium deal, criticizing the mayor, uh, and also saying uh, they didn't bring the New York Times to Italy, I did. Oh, mama. Take a listen to now team owner Mike Piazza. As I've said, we've reorganized this company. We've invested in this community. I've moved my family here, my children here, to be part of this community. And we deserve respect. <laughs> we are not going to be pushed around by a multi-billion dollar corporation. The stadium was built for this team by these people. And we've gotten nothing, nothing. And I'm sick of it. I'm tired and sick of Reggiana being pushed around. I am frustrated and I'm freaking pissed off. <laughs> I had an old partner who negotiated double the rent to the stadium and left the company and I didn't complain and I have Mr. Cannavale and Mr. Squincy saying I don't pay my debts that's bull Non mi sto lamentando in realtà di dover pagare, abbiamo un bravissimo direttore sportivo che sta facendo il suo lavoro, la squadra sta andando molto bene, quindi io sono contento. We still have to play that coach to the end of the year, hundreds of thousands of euro. I'm sick of it, we want to be treated fair, and my conditions are clear. We have no problem paying, I pay my debts, this team is paying salaries. I'm wiring millions of dollars to the United States money that I earned to support this community. That's all I have to say. It's out of my hands. I'm funding the team. Now I put it in the local government. Okay, first of all, that table should be on Amazon.com as reinforced steel table. You can purchase that for about 20 bucks. That table was taking a pounding. He's going to be made into a table. If yeah, he that's what down. I was going to tell you. I don't know about you. The last I heard, though, criticizing guys in Italy named Carnavale Not and, and uh, Schmoppy or whatever the hell the other guy's name is. <laughs> Mike, you better slow your roll. I pay my debts. I, th I think the first guy he criticized is the damn mayor of the city. Yeah, relax, you better slow your roll, Tito. Woo. Oh, Piazza? Oh, yeah, you won't see him no more. <laughs> Oh, 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 my conditions are clear. What is this, an international trade deal? My conditions are clear. Oh. <laughs> and then number three. And then I just, I have to ask you, which of these unbelievably awkward pieces of audio reign supreme? Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Number three is one we all enjoyed locally. And by enjoyed, it, it, it meant you wanted to vomit due to discomfort watching it. As Eminem was put with Herb Street and Musburger, the night Michigan invented night football, Michigan and Notre Dame, and it produced one of the great screen grabs of all time. Take a listen. Marshall Mathers will open Saturday Night Football. Mathers, it's, it's a pleasure to have you Absolutely. open the show. Absolutely. It's a pleasure to be here. It's, it's, it's an honor to be able to do that. So. So you have the single out, albums coming out in November. What are you most excited about with this new album? Um, nothing. Some of my friends in Montana wanted me to ask you, will the Lions cover four and a half tomorrow against Minnesota? Will the Lions cover four and a half? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure, man. I don't want to. I don't. I don't ever. T I don't ever make a prediction on the Lions because I don't ever want to jinx it. But I'm such a diehard Lions fan, like to the core. So, yes, they'll win. Marshall, again, it was it was a pleasure having you having you with us here. Absolutely, and Brett, just like uh, you know, they have fantasy football or whatever. Um, I got you on my fantasy announcer team. <laughs> it would be you, and the, of course, the late great Pat Summerall, and. John Madden and Al Michaels, if you guys would get together and just call the game, Kirk, you're great too. Appreciate Much it. respect. But, but not, not quite to that status yet. I guess. Right. You've sold a hundred million records worldwide. You, my friend, are the legend. No doubt about that. Yeah, I'm really uncomfortable right now. Okay. <laughs> Marshall, take care, my friend. Absolutely. We look forward thank to seeing you. that video you. next week. Honor, okay. thank you. The best moment is when he picked a dead guy over Herb Street. <laughs> Hey, if you could just get together with dead guy, this would be great. <laughs> get together and do 
Hey Kirk, you're good too. <laughs> Dude, the best part, listen, Eminem's one of the great MCs of all time. Dude is unquestioned. He's, a, he's, he's had an amazing career. I don't know what happened that night because he was so uncomfortable. And there's the one part where he's just, he's literally looking at you in your living room, America. I felt like he was staring at me and it was like a cry for help, like, Mike, Mike, help me. <laughs> he had this look on his face. I like the one time in the beginning where Brent refers to him yes. just as Mathers. Yes. Oh, well, hey, Mathers. <laughs> hey, Mathers. Like he's delivering newspapers to his house. Mathers? Oh, man. I, I just, listen, I had, I had to do it. This week, we were graced with two of the most awkward interviews ever. I had to throw the Eminem classic in there because it's exactly that, a classic. But Ticket Tax 97136. And certainly, if you want to get in, which of those Awkward interviews reign supreme. I will tell you, I cannot get enough of Mike Piazza in Italy calling out local government. Can't get enough. It's amazing. Any press conference for a team owner where he screams, I pay my debts and punches the table, it's it's over for me. But the Iverson one is just so bad, though. Uh, well, well, it's just so awkward. I, 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 give it one more roll when we get back. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Jamie and Stoney.